All right, crew, welcome back. Uh, Coffee and tourniquets, episode seven, I think we're at now. Uh, last week we talked about some wound packing reminders. I think it's very key uh, to remember some of the major points of wound packing and care overall. Today I kind of wanted to go over something that I have added to my kit uh, for the family one, um, as well as in my personal kit and my SWAT gear. And that is a simple wound closure mechanism. Not a huge fan of the over-the-counter skin glues. Um, a lot of times if it's wet, if it's not optimal conditions, it doesn't work as well. Secondly, if it seals it completely, you may not have any gaps in that seal for any kind of infection or anything like that to kind of get out if you haven't cleaned it properly. I'm a big fan of being kind of prepared for almost anything, if you will, as far as like injuries and, and wound, and wound uh, repairs. Given I can carry around a suture kit, I can suture, I can do lidocaine, I can do all that stuff. Um, not a lot of people have that access. So what I've discovered is something called Micromend. So these are, if you're familiar with Steri strips, there's something to go across a wound uh, to help approximate the injury. <clears throat> kind of like the back says here. So these guys are packaged in uh, three, two packs in a big envelope, but this is the package of them. So you can actually see how tall they are. They can fit in a kit very easily, almost anywhere. There's really no excuse to not have them. And they're a great substitute for um, wound repair, where it only involved like the dermis, which is the very, the very outer layer um, of the uh, injury, of the skin, if you will, for the injury. Um, they have very small prongs in them, so it's a stereo strip on steroids, if you will. The, the prongs you press on, undo the adhesive, press on one side of the wound. This is after you've cleaned, dressed the wound, irrigated the wound if you need to, and then you stretch it across so that it brings the wound together, and then put push it down on the other side and let it come back. It's got a little bit of plastic elasticity to it, so it helps approximate the wound. And the teeth dig into the wound and kind of bring it together. So it is a great substitute for sutures, for skin sutures, for relatively shallow wounds. Um, I've used these in lab. I've used them in person. Um, I love them. Um, luckily, my kids haven't had to experience these. Um, they're relatively painless. They are small little barbs. I mean, I think there's more anxiety with it. If you don't have access to a stapler or suture material, great alternative. Um, like I said, these are in my kind of my family kit. Um, these are in my SWAT kit. And then these are also in um, my everyday kind of uh, usage kit, first aid kit. Um, again, like I said, you don't have access to sutures or even you say you're out in the woods hunting. These are in my hunting kit. Um, and you fall and lacerate yourself on a stick or a rock, you clean it out, and say you're on a backpacking trip or something like that, and you can't get to an ER to get it taken care of, these can stay in for up to 14 days, according to the manufacturer's website, and then remove like any other stitches, if you will. You just pull them right out. Um, don't need any special tools, and it's relatively easily to be done for personal use. So again, check out Micromend. Just a piece of equipment that I've added to my kits. And I highly recommend you guys look at them. Um, even with my skill set and the ability to suture, um, this is much quicker um, and much more tolerated, if you will, especially with little ones. So, again, micro men, check them out. Highly recommended. Um, if you guys have any questions, drop a line here uh, in the comments. And we'll review when we can. All right, guys. Have a good day, and please stay safe.